In this video, we're going to talk about everyone's favorite college-related topic, the SAT. If you've ever thought about applying to college in the United States, you know that you probably have to take a standardized test. However, what you don't know is that there are actually two options for taking standardized tests. There's the SAT, which everyone's heard of, but also its cousin, the ACT. What you might not know is that actually, the ACT is more popular now in the United States than the SAT is. So you might be wondering, why even bother with the SAT if the ACT is so much more popular? In reality, there's no such thing as the right test to take. Both tests are accepted equally by all universities in the United States, so you're not at any disadvantage if you submit the SAT or the ACT. What is really most important to do is figure out which test is the best test for you. These tests are mostly the same, however there are a few important small differences between them. The first important difference to take into account between the SAT and the ACT is that the SAT is a more slow test compared to the ACT. The SAT has 154 questions on it and it lasts for 4 hours. Meanwhile, the ACT has 215 questions on it and lasts for 3.5 hours. You don't have to be a mathematical genius to see that you have to do more questions in less time on the ACT. The other big difference between the ACT and the SAT is that the ACT has a section called the Science Reasoning section, which the SAT does not have. You might think that if you're not good at science, therefore, you shouldn't take the ACT. In reality, the ACT science reasoning section does not have any questions that require you to know anything about science. Instead, it's a section that asks you to make decisions about uh, how to interpret graphs or data that are presented to you. Besides these two differences, the tests are pretty much the same. Both tests are basic tests of English and mathematical skills. Once you've finished the first two years of high school, so your freshman and sophomore years, you should know everything that you need to know in order to do your best on these tests. 